Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the second joint presentation today. I'm delighted to introduce to your right Zachary Davis, who is team manager at the Danish Technological Institute, and to the left Anurag Bansal, who is global business development at Akthonia. And um, Zachary will go first today and tell us uh, tells us a bit more about the LIBED innovation test bed for development and production of nanomaterials for lightweight embedded electronics. So Zachary, over to you. All right, thank you, Christoph, for the nice introduction. Uh, yes, uh, hello everybody. My name is Zachary. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, LIBED and I'm, which is a Horizon 2020 project uh, which I'm coordinating. Uh, and uh, so first of all, I'll tell you about LIBED, uh, what it's all about. And then after my talk, I know I will take over and talk about how Axiona has has uh, used LIBED and been a part of LIBED and what they have, uh, what we've been doing for them. So let's just go to the next slide, which is a little bit about LIBED. So LIBED is this, uh, if you look at the title, quite, uh, you know, innovation test bed for the development and production of nanomaterials for lightweight and better electronics. But basically what you're trying to do is, is to, to to uh, form or develop a one-stop shops or services and infrastructures access within printed and embedded electronics. That means that instead of, you know, uh, you can come to us uh, through our single launching point, and then we will provide to you uh, all the tools you need to, and all the people, the expertise, uh, infrastructure, access, etc., to, to, you know, get your idea to market or get your uh, integrate uh, new functionalities using printed and embedded electronic technologies. Uh, we are quite a few partners. Uh, this is a quite large uh, project. Uh, we are 13 services spread across Europe. Uh, the services where we're providing are, 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 put, are, are partitioned into three phases. We have a phase one, which is more about economic modeling, assessments. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more in details in a minute. Uh, we have the pilot project, which is actually the infrastructure access, pilot lines, uh, tools. And then uh, uh, the phase three is the knowledge transfer. So what do you do once you have a prototype, once you have a, a prior to production, how to get to market? Um, just some of the sort of highlights, we are working together with Etena, Axio Innovation, TPU, Fraunhofer, uh, Sustainable Innovations and SD Partners, uh, VS Particles, which they had a talk yesterday, CPI also had a talk yesterday, um, RISE, uh, TENA, uh, TNO, I think they also had a talk yesterday, uh, TU, uh, TU Eindhoven, and uh, uh, I think that's about it. And now uh, on the inline characterization, which uh, I'll talk a little bit about as well, is Fraunhofer and CList. So we have quite a few uh, larger players and, and well-known players within the print electronics industry uh, in our test bed. Uh, we also have end users because, uh, of course, uh, things are developing uh, processes and materials and, and, and pilot lines is and services. Well, we need to try them out. So we're using a, quite a we are using four end user cases, which represent four different application areas. We have Swarovski, which is working with intelligent services. We have Maya working with embedded electronics and, and plastics for automotive applications. Grafietic working with uh, smart. Uh, in, uh, smart packaging and Axiona, which well, you'll hear a bit more about later, working with the uh, embedded sensor in composites. Uh, so let's talk about uh, the phases. What what is Libed and what can we do for you? Uh, so so Libed is is a sort of this one stop shop service. Uh, what we do in the beginning is is uh, take a more of assessment modeling approach. We we look at we we we. We discuss with the client that's coming in, what would you like to do? Where are we at? Are we in an idea phase? Are we in a pilot project phase or, or sort of an upscaling phase? And we do a technical assessment. Uh, once we have this sort of technical assessment, once we know what we can do and how we can do it, then we can also provide different other uh, uh, other services because you know knowing that we can do it doesn't mean it should be done because that's uh, some one of the main uh, problems. So we can do a safety assessment. Uh, we can do an economic assessment. Can we meet? The cost, uh, the cost targets. We can do a life cycle assessment. Are the materials and processes sustainable uh, enough? We can do a patent mapping. Uh, what's the patent or the IP landscape? Or do we have freedom to operate? And then in the end, we can also uh, help uh, through pilot project financial support. So trying to find funds for eventual uh, pilot project. Because because using these, uh, you know, in the end of the day, these things have to be sustainable for us. So we need to have money coming in so we can also help you find funding uh, to, 